The investigation of the financial crimes committed by pyramid schemes are being conducted by the top lawyer in the state. So you might read this the first time and not really think anything sounds weird, but there's actually a problem with R. What is the subject of the sentence? What is it that R being conducted by the top lawyer in the state? Well, it's an investigation. An investigation is actually singular, right? It's one thing. If you ignore all the stuff in the middle and just look at the connection between the subject and the verb, the error becomes clear. The investigation are being conducted? No, the investigation is being conducted. This is an example of subject-verb agreement. When you've got a subject and you've got its verb in the main sentence, you have to make sure they agree, singular and plural. And we'll talk more about what that means specifically in a second. Let's look at just a couple more examples. Samples of moon dust and other substances recovered from the moon is just one of the scientific treasures uh, obtained during the Apollo missions. So we kind of have a couple things here. Again, what's the subject? The subject is samples of moon dusts and other substances recovered from the moon. So it's really the samples that's the subject. So samples is? No, it's samples are, right? Samples are just because you've got a plural subject, and therefore we need a plural verb. Note the other kind of issue here, it's almost a noun agreement issue. We wouldn't say samples are just one. We might say something like samples are just some of the scientific treasures. That's a minor point. The main thing to look at here is the subject verb agreement. The exploratory committee charged with investigating the amendment of zoning laws have decided to delay its report until next year. Again, the subject is the exploratory committee, which is singular, it's one group, one entity, and therefore we don't say have, we say has, right? The committee has decided, not the committee have decided. Notice in all these examples why they're especially tricky is the noun closest to the verb in all of these cases so in the case of the first one, it was schemes, moon, and laws seem to match with the verb in terms of numbers, right? Schemes are, moon is, laws have. The issue is these are not the subjects. The subjects are earlier in the sentence, typically the first noun of the sentence, such as investigation, samples of moon dust, etc., the exploratory committee. The verb has got to agree with the subject, not with the noun that it's closest to. But the problem is they put in all this extra junk in the sentence to make you lose track of the connection between the subject and the verb. So you have to just keep in mind, here's my subject, here's my verb. There might be some stuff in between, but they still have to be linked in terms of number. So what do we mean by number, singular, and plural verbs? English, we don't really deal with conjugation of verbs that much, even in irregular verbs, they don't really uh, change that much. But there is a little bit of a change. I'm not sure why I have I. Just had a quick edit of this because I'm not sure what happened to my little, my little graph here. But in any event, my little table. So let's say we were conjugating the verb walk. What would it be for present tense? So it would be I walk, you walk, he, she, or it walks. There's a change. But then it's we walk, you walk, you being the plural you here. English doesn't really have a, a plural you, so we just say you. And then they walk. Notice the ending is the same. The verb form is the same for all of these. It changes in this form, the third person singular. And notice to make it plural, or to make it singular, we add an S, which is a little bit weird, as we'll talk about in a second, because typically you pluralize a noun by adding an S, but you pluralize a verb by adding by removing an S, very odd. But um, so this is the, the format. So if we know it's a singular noun, third person singular, like he or she or it or the boy or the school or the team, whatever, it's gotta be walks. If it's plural, they, the dogs, the boys, whoever, then it's gotta be the plural form. What about to be? So for to be, we have an irregular verb and it's a little bit different here, but for present tense, I am, you are, he, she, or it is, and then they, you, or we, you, and they are all the same. They are all uh, are. So a little bit more of a change, but more or less still pretty regular. Again, the difference really that we want to focus on is in third person. For third person singular, it's he, she, it, the boy, the dog, the team is or was if it's past tense. 
For plural, it's they are or they were. So make sure that your subjects and verbs agree in number, they're singular and plural. And remember the confusing part, singular verbs end in S, as we see here, walks, well, is is kind of like that, but singular verbs, particularly regular verbs, end in S, but plural verbs do not end in S, right? It's just walk. Plural nouns, however, end in S, while singular nouns do not end in S. It's a bit confusing. So notice the boy, singular noun, walks, singular verb, this has an S. The boys walk, plural verb, plural subject, the plural subject ends in S, the plural verb does not. So just keep that straight. You can always recover this by just making up some sentences in your head and you'll see which is which. Let's look at an example. On the graduate record examination, GRE, for example, students intending to study philosophy in graduate school has scored higher than students in all but four other majors. So what is the subject of this verb has scored? Whenever you see a verb, you must immediately think, is this subject verb agreement? What is the subject? The subject, who is it that has scored higher? It's students. Students is plural. Has scored is actually singular. So we need to get rid of all the singular verbs, which would be A, and C, scores is also singular, right? He scores, the students score, for example. Have scored is the plural form of this, so that looks pretty good. D doesn't even make it a verb anymore, makes it a fragment with that ing. So the only one that's gonna work is 